Welcome to a uh, little episode of Birdman Builds. I've done a couple of uh, Stratocaster builds, and I did a video, a couple of videos. Where I built this. Well, I didn't build it, but modified this Telecaster. So if you want to go back to my other videos, I took um, I took this neck. This guy right here off this uh, 94 Telecaster Special and I put a, a, a warm earth neck on there. So now my plan is to build the Telecaster and you're probably wondering okay why is that one here and what's up with this one and okay why not just build it. All right well I'm gonna get to that. So this is a Fender Baja Telly. I believe it's uh, an ash body. I think it's. Oh, what'd they call this color? Um, desert sand, I think. Tough to tell in the picture, but it's, it's kind of a little creamy. It's not quite white. I think it's desert sand. Again, it's the, it's the Baja Telly. It's. It's not the lightest body in the world. I don't know, five pounds or so. Um, that's why I, I bought it and I just come and hanging on to it because I didn't know what to do with it. So, but I have the body sitting there for a while. I have this spare neck. So this, this seemed like a no-brainer right here. Ta-da, okay, now we have a Telecaster. Well, not really. So, um, real briefly, I bought this Wilkinson. Uh, compensated bridge. You can see the uh, saddles are not straight across, they're compensated. This is to help with because it's a three saddle bridge. These little uh, grooves help it, you know, get your intonation closer. And of course, you need a neck plate, so I got, a, got one off eBay here. That's a Fender USA neck plate. Um, so be careful when you buy a used guitar, you never know, you never know what, uh, what you're getting, which is bringing me to this guy. Um, let me just run out what I bought here. Uh, I have this, uh, this pit guard. Uh, I lost the sticker. It said, like, orange pearl, and I don't know if you can tell, but this is, I mean, Maybe against a dark red looks orange, but that's that's red. There's just no lighting that makes this look anything but red. But that's okay because it still looks good. So we're almost done. We got the bridge. We got the the pickup. Oh, we can get to the pickup. All right. Demarzio Tone Zone T. This is the Telecaster version of the tone zone and you can do coil tapping and stuff it's a very hot pickup for the bridge i don't have a neck pickup yet for this guitar um but that gets me to my next point this pickup is not for this guitar and that bridge is not for this guitar either i'm taking out the there we go. The stock bridge from my Telecaster Special, complete with pickup. And that's going into the Baja build. And then the Wilkinson with the DiMarzio is going into the Special. So I'm gonna have a kind of this, uh, this single claw spaced, these rails, humbuckers, and the full size humbucker in there. I'm gonna wire that, it's got a five way, I'm gonna wire a push pull so I can do every combination between those two pickups. That'll be fun. Um, I'm not sure when I'll do all that work, but for right now I'll probably just get the pickup and bridge in there with some new strings and we'll see how that goes. This build, once I do that one, I'll pick up, grab those parts, drop it into this. But you probably notice I got a little, I got this big gaping hole right here. Not the one I'm talking out of. So, um, 
That's where this guy comes in. This is a Fender. No, it's not. It's not a Fender Telecaster. Let's get down here. All right. So I got this online, and again, you got to be careful. I bought it quickly. I thought I was getting kind of a 62 custom parts caster. So I thought some parts were Fender, um, not everything, but you know, a 62 custom double bound body was kind of tough to get. So I got it and noticed the binding was cream, not white. The neck, it says Fender on it, but it isn't. I don't know who made the neck. It's, it's a proper telly shape. I'm gonna guess it's a Squire though. Um, even the frets seem, it, it's all wrong. The whole thing's wrong. The, the pickup is wrong here. Um, of course, this is all wrong. This should be um, the ashtray style and it should be shorter like, well, like this guy I just bought here. So that's wrong. I'm hoping that this plate will fit this guitar because this guitar isn't worth much except for some parts because this thing is it came it just doesn't it doesn't play good um it's not quality this thing's like a i can use this as a cutting board maybe it's, it's pretty uh pretty solid um otherwise it's, it's just junky all these tuners they look like they look like uh, like a Clusen type with a hole and everything and so, oh yeah, yeah it's vintage style tuners but you get up here and you notice they don't even have anything on top here there's no they're not slotted tuners so this is this is what you what you really want is a slotted tuner with a hole in the middle and so you wind the string and you don't have anything poking out so these are imitation Clusen style I mean you can buy the you can buy Clusa styles for 30 bucks, 35 bucks. So, I mean, how cheap are these tuners? Um, yeah, I mean, it's got a, it's got a truss rod. Well, you know, I say that. It's got a hole for a truss rod. Man. I don't, I don't even see a truss rod in there. That's funny. So this thing is junk. Um, it's going to be wall art, but before I make it wall art, I'm going to try to salvage, <laughs> try to salvage at least this control plate, and then I'll I'll buy new switches and everything. I'm just being lazy right now because I don't have a control plate for that guitar or a pickup, but uh, I'll make it an Esquire type, well, a single pickup to start with, and instead of just wiring, I could wire it right to the output jack. Uh, which I might end up doing, but I'd like to have at least a volume control. So, I'll see. If this doesn't work out, I'll just wire it straight to the jack and deal with it. Okay, so that's the idea. I did. This is a long intro. I'm sorry. Um, but that's the idea of this build. This is garbage. This is going to be something. And... The real purpose of this is to get that Telecaster special uh, upgraded with some with some parts here. So um, let's cut to the next scene where um, one or all three of these guitars are going to be torn apart, and they're all done. Look at that! Oh wait, no, that, nothing's nothing's done yet. Okay. I just wanted to have some fun here. This is the most fun part about building, modifying, doing anything to a guitar. Taking old strings. And just getting rid of them. There we go. Strings are off. All right, let's keep going. All right, just wanted to capture this. Um, you can see here's the wiring for the Tele Special, the five way, which has the factory claw taps for the neck humbucker. 
the uh, yellow and black wire diffusing the bomb. Do not cut the yellow and black wire. All right, for my bridge pickup, rotate this around so you can see it all better. There we go. So, your five volt your volume switch knob. Uh, here is a uh, TBX tone control. So you see uh, two stacked tone pots there. So halfway through the sweep here, you get kind of a notch and you go from regular tone knob from zero through five to a treble boost, which is that second pot there. So that's that. Um, need to still pull this guy out. But there we go. That's what it looks underneath. Here's a close-up of the standard fender bridge. Now these tele pickups usually have a metal plate under them, which is grounded, but this does not. So what they did was this uh, cool thing here. You can see that they put a little grounding strap from the ground side of the, te of the pickup to the bridge, that little loop thing right. Focus on my finger. Well, right there. See that little loop thing right there? And out. So I might try to replicate that on the next pickup. Neat idea. Alright, taking a working on three guitars here, trying to you know go from one to the other logistically. So I got this bridge installed. Um, I have not wired it up yet. So that's all that's left here is to wire it up which may be easier said than done. Um, not difficult, but I do want to do the uh, push-pull, which I probably have in my toolbox somewhere. Let me see. Let me see. Um, yeah. I think that would do it. Can I see if that shaft type is the right type for these knobs? You run into all these sorts of problems when you start modifying things. So that might work for me. Ew, it's a 250K, isn't it? 500 is a little nicer for humbuckers, but when you split them, it doesn't matter. I got little, little switches too I can put in there. I don't want to do that, but I need to drill. Um, yeah, so this is almost wrapped up, except for a little bit of wiring. This is coming along. I have this bridge all installed. And now you see I just have to wire it. And then I came to this guy, this oh, this piece. So if you, you can rewind the video and look back and see where I was before with the other control plate. Look at these tiny, as I drop the camera, tiny pots in this thing. Got a little circuit board thing for the five way, actually three way. What a piece of junk. So, I'm not sure if any of this is usable. Um, probably ordering a new pickup for the neck. I have one somewhere. Focus, there we go. I have a, a nice pickup actually, somewhere. I saw it about six or seven years ago in a box. Um, when I last saw it, I put it there. So I'm not sure <laughs> where it is now. Um, if I can't find it, I'll just, I'll just pick out something put in there so this will be all set and I'll just pick up a uh, control plate I can do something custom either custom wirings or custom uh, switches and whatnot so for right now I have to just decide but these leads don't actually reach to the output jack so I either need to extend them or tragically temporarily wired up to this guy. So we'll see what I do. All right, see you in the crime. Look at that. All right, so let's see how I pulled the plate off. And these 
knobs are actually pretty nice. Nicest thing on, on this guitar, these knobs. Moving on though, a couple issues. This plate doesn't fit. The holes. There we go. That one lines up, this one doesn't, so. Try to get it. I mean, I. Gotta wiggle around. Basically, this plate is too long. Or the screw holes are too far spaced apart. So this ain't gonna work. Even if you wanted to try to make it work, you take a a real tone pot here and take your plate. There's a problem there, isn't it? These holes aren't even big enough to allow a real tone pot to be mounted to this plate. So this plate is destined to be on this cheap guitar, which apparently has no usable parts that you can swap onto anything else. So, I gotta think about what plan B is. Well, that's eBay. Unfortunately. So there we go, we got one guitar that needs to be wired up. One guitar, well I still gotta put the neck on, but that's just four bolts. And I can't play it yet because this guy, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do there, so that I don't have a, a plate for that. And then this thing just gets put in the garbage, I guess. I have no idea. Hey, if you want this guitar, then leave a comment below. And I will give away this guitar to the, well, let's call it the 50th commenter gets this guitar. I'll put the uh, plate back on and everything for you. You'll get strings and everything with this. The strings are worth the most on this guitar. So 50th comment gets this guitar for free. And then hopefully in the meantime, I will get the parts to finish this Baja Tele build and then I'll wire up my Kelly special. So I hope you enjoyed this. Well, uh, let's go to part two uh, in a week or so. So stay tuned for that. Um, check back, subscribe, watch my other videos. Um, you can watch my strap build where I actually started with something and ended with something that came out well. Um, yeah. Subscribe, comment. Yeah, like I said, 50th comment. I'm serious. You'll have to pay for shipping, but I'll... I will ship this thing the cheapest way you can possibly imagine. Don't you worry. Alright, till next time.